Ready Lift, the number one name in truck and SUV suspension, is proud to introduce the toughest and best performing mid-travel lift kit for the Ford Raptor SVT. Providing up to three inches of lift and 12 inches of front wheel travel, this complete off-road suspension system will allow you to conquer the unpaved world safely and easily. And the best part is that it's all in a bolt-on kit. Upgrade your suspension today and take your Raptor where it was born to be, off-road. Hey there, Ready Lift fans. Thanks for joining us today as we walk you through the steps of installing our super rugged mid-travel off-road suspension system for the Ford Raptor SVT pickups. This bulletproof front suspension upgrade kit features the best engineering you can buy while greatly enhancing your on- and off-road driving experience. Ready Lift off-road suspension heavy-duty upper and lower control arms are made from strong tapped and welded steel with one and a half inch PTFE lined univall bearings providing greater suspension cycling. These large univall joints are the strongest you can get and proven in the rigors of the most inhospitable off-road conditions on the planet. Our upper control arms feature an exclusive CNC machine seal cap to keep out dirt and debris. Improved steering feel and control while providing a strong tie rod that can handle any abuse you can possibly put your truck through. The ReadyLift Heavy Duty Steering Kits deliver in ways that will make your driving experience seem incredible. For the Sirius Raptor Off-Roader, we now offer custom-built fabricated uprights designed to take any and all punishment you can possibly throw at them. These new uprights serve to fix the inherent problem with OEM uprights that have a tendency to bend even during modest off-road use. If you should decide to retain use of the factory front sway bar, ReadyLift offers a fully adjustable performance sway bar end link setup that includes strong yet flexible high end links and a CNC machined link body. The ReadyLift off-road suspension system will work with the OEM Fox coilover or the popular aftermarket Fox 3.0 reservoir coilover designed specifically for aggressive off-road use. If you truly want to get the most out of your Raptor in off-road conditions, the ReadyLift off-road suspension system for Raptor trucks will simply amaze you when you hit the dirt and start cycling the suspension to make use of the 11 inches of front suspension travel. Installation is strictly bolt-on. In the next steps, we'll show you how to install the system. With our subject Raptor already void of the factory components, we begin by first lubricating the special urethane bushings with a high temp grease. Then carefully install the new ready lift lower control arm onto the stock frame fixture. The factory lower control arm bolts are then installed along with the factory alignment plates. The same goes for the new ready lift upper control arms. First, grease the bushings, then install the uniball upper control arm using the factory control arm hardware. The control arm bolts must be installed from the inside out before the coilover is installed. Otherwise, they will not be accessible. When using the Fox 3.0 reservoir coilovers, the provided reservoir bracket frame mount must first be inserted into the frame. Then the exterior bracket is bolted directly to the frame mount and securely tightened. The new Fox 3.0 coilover is now installed and attaches to the top using the factory mount. The attached reservoir is then placed onto the previously installed frame mount and secured with the provided clamps. Next, we want to install the Fox lower mount misalignment spacers, then attach the lower shock mount to the lower control arm using the factory hardware. To prep the new ReadyLift off-road heavy-duty uprights for installation, first we must install the upper 4340 heat-treated univall conversion pin. The pin is pressed in by way of tightening up the provided hardware to seat the pin. Before the factory wheel hub assembly can be installed, first apply high temp grease to the inner housing, followed by adding a small dab of Loctite thread locker to the factory hub bolts. Then install the hub into the upright while permanently tightening all four of the hub assembly bolts. Back over to the lower control arm before installing the new upright, we first have to install the upper and lower misalignment spacers and pin. Install a C-lock nut on the top of the pin to hold the assembly together. Now place the new ready lift upright onto the pin as shown while also installing a standard nut and washer. 
The standard nut is used to press the spacers and pin together into the housing. Once the uniball pin assembly is completely pressed into the upright, remove the standard nut and replace with the provided C-lock nut and permanently tighten. Once that is complete, the upper pin nut can be permanently tightened down to secure the one and a half inch uniball to the upright and lower control arm. During disassembly, the CV joint seal was removed from the axle. Replace the joint seal onto the CV axle while making sure to line up the gear teeth for a good fit with no obstructions. Then lift the upright upwards while positioning the CV axle for entry into the upright. It's a snug fit and you'll need to make sure that the hub and CV axle gear teeth align properly. With the axle now installed into the hub, the factory nut and dust seal cap are installed. Like on the lower control arm, to assemble the uniball pivot on the upper control arm, first place the upper and lower misalignment spacers into the control arm. Then guide the control arm down to where the pin pressed into the upright can install through the spacers. Secure the uniball pivot assembly using the provided C-lock nut and washer. Anytime you're installing hardware on a vehicle, always torque the nuts and bolts down to specification. This is even more important with suspension components, which will potentially see harsh use. One of our exclusive features of the ReadyLift off-road uniball control arms are our machined and anodized steel caps. To install the caps, lubricate the provided O-ring, then place the O-ring onto the bottom side of the cap. The seal cap will press into the control arm cup and keep all debris out. Next, we want to install the brake assembly. Place the brake rotor onto the hub and hold in place with a few lug nuts. Then place the brake caliper onto the upright and position it so that the factory caliper bolts can be installed and permanently tightened. There are two vacuum ports on the inside of the hub. Reattach the vacuum lines onto the ports and check to make sure you've achieved a good fit. The new uprights have locations in them to accept the factory brake line and wheel speed sensor brackets. When installed, the lines will retain their stock position and length. Once the wheel speed sensor has been bolted to the upright, reconnect the line and reattach using the factory clips that insert into the spring pocket housing and the inner fender liner. To install the ReadyLift Heavy Duty Steering Kit, Begin by first applying Loctite thread locker to the mounting screw and to both sides of the clevis. Install the clevis onto the steering rack and align the forks so they are vertical. Then install the screw and tighten. Next you'll want to place a small amount of Loctite on the threads of the inner steering kit bolt. Then insert the assembled tie rod and attached heim end and spacers into the clevis. With the spacers installed, the heim will be self-centering, then install the bolt and securely tighten. If you choose to retain use of the factory boots, they will fit on the ReadyLift Heavy Duty Steering Kit. To secure the tie rod assembly to the knuckle, install both misalignment spacers into the heim end, then install onto the conversion pin, which is then bolted up and appropriately torqued to specification. If you're wanting to use your stock Raptor front sway bar, ReadyLift offers an optional sway bar kit which is required in order to use the sway bar. To install, begin by applying Loctite to the heim joint threads. Then install the heim and to the provided boss on the back side of the control arm. To allow for easy adaptation of the stock sway bar on the new links, we provide a special adapter bracket that bolts to the sway bar. This will allow for easy connection between the link and the bar. The heavy duty sway bar link has right and left hand threads. This makes installation and on the fly adjustments easy. Adjust the link so the heim is centered in the adapter bracket. Then install the provided spacers which center the link in the bracket. Once the bolt is through, simply tighten up the nut and bolt. Then using opened end wrenches, adjust the sway bar position to suit. Then tighten up the jam nuts to secure the setting. 
The last thing to do before hitting the road is to position the lower control arm alignment cams to the pre-installation marked location. Then permanently tighten up the lower control arm. A good alignment will still be necessary though. That about covers the installation of the ReadyLift off-road suspension for the Ford Raptor. After installing and torquing down the wheels, this Raptor is ready for alignment. Then some seriously fun times in the dirt. For more information on ReadyLift products for Ford Raptor trucks, be sure to check out ReadyLift.com. You can also check out the most recent product developments on ReadyLift's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. There's no question about it. The ReadyLift suspension options for the Ford Raptor will seriously upgrade the off-road ability of this truck. The suspension will eat up the roughest terrains with comfort and control while taking full advantage of 11 inches of travel. Thanks for watching, folks, and remember, don't just lift it, ready lift it.